Welcome to this meeting of the Troy Safety and Health Committee. Today is September 13th, and we're looking at uh, 6.04 in the afternoon. To my right is Mr. Rosell, and to my left is Mr. Schilling. My name is John Terwilliger, and we are here today to provide a recommendation that the upgraded Miami County Solid Waste Management Plan be approved to council. Mr. Titterington. So looking back at history, this is uh, updated about every six or seven years. It has been six years since this has been reviewed. This is our countywide solid waste management plan uh, regarding our um, trash recycling and, um, and yard waste uh, collection and handling plan. Uh, it is required by the Ohio EPA and the update this year is a routine update, nothing major uh, to report. Uh, Brad Petrie from the Solid Waste District, the Miami County District, is here if you have any specific questions, but we do recommend uh, approval and we are not asking for emergency legislation. Okay. Question? If I may. You may. Uh, if Mr. Petrie would come on up here because the question is going to be uh, directed to him. I'm Bob Phillips. I'm the council sure. Name tag's not up here. Um, on our recycling program, mm -hmm. um, I, I know the list of items that we can recycle and that sort of thing, but is there an expanded list that could be, uh, or more recycling that could be done, however our plant or your plant cannot do that at this time, or what What are some of the parameters on that, if you would please? Sure, so as you said, uh, my name is Brad Petrie, I'm the Solid Waste Coordinator for Miami County. Um, part of, part of the, the limitations that we have right now are there, there aren't many end there aren't many processors of the recycling material. And right now, all of, in all of Miami County, all of the residential recycling ends up at a Rumpke Murf, a material recovery facility. So we're limited to the types of materials that they take. However, Rumpke is, is working diligently to try to expand those. We've recently went from the, the terminology of the ones and twos in the plastic uh, to the bottles and jugs, and, and they've actually expanded to some number five plastics of the tubs. So that's gonna be like the cottage cheese containers, the yogurt containers, the butter tubs, those types of things as well too. Um, as, as far as plastics or, or just curbside recycling as a whole, and this is one thing that, that we've actually talked about in our plan that we would like to expand upon is, is organics, and that's the food waste. If, if there's something that we can do along those ways for diversion. Right now, the hindrance with that is logistics. You know, it's, it's just how, how do we get it from A to B? Um, there aren't many class two facilities close. The, the nearest one that I'm aware of is, is actually in South Charleston. However, um, as, as that continues to grow in popularity, that is something that we see migrating from the larger met uh, metropolitan areas, that would be Columbus and Cincinnati. It's actually migrated more towards Dayton and it's come down a little bit from Toledo. So it's working its way towards Miami County and it's something that I'm kind of passionate about and that I would like to kind of expand upon you know, for, for Miami County residents and for Miami County businesses. I think of this opportunity that we have out here when we talk logistics along 75 out here of all the restaurants that, that could be doing something along those ways as well too. There is, along since you asked, <laughs> uh, there is along, uh, along those lines, I'm actually gonna uh, participate in a conference in the 1st of October where the city of Athens is gonna present. And they actually have, now I, we're, we're a long ways from this, but they actually have a curbside organic food waste composting program curbside. So I, I think it's something that we can always work towards. I think it's something that we'd like to work towards. As far as committing to, to saying we're gonna do that in the next five years, that's, that's just impossible. You know, not a, well, I shouldn't say it's impossible. Um, it, it's not something that I wanna burden you know, the residents of Troy or the citizens of Miami County with. Okay. But we do wanna explore it. Good, I, I mean, because I'm very conscious of that and I think it's an outstanding use of our resources and that sort of thing, so I, I just wanted to kind of hear an update on that. Sure, you know, one of the things, I mean, we always, we, we all remember the three R's, you know, the reduce, reuse, recycle. Well, one of the things that I really try to push is, is landfill reduction. What, what can we do along those lines? What's going to the landfill that doesn't have to go to the landfill? And I think that's one of the things that, that we try to address as much as we can inside of this plan. Okay, 
Thank you. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. What do you say, Mr. Schiller? I say we uh, go forward. Mr. Rosell, I agree. Confer, move forward, and it does not need emergency. Correct. Anything else to come before the committee? No, sir.